So there's changes coming to Patreon that we need to talk about. It has nothing, no real effect on this channel. My Patreon is very small, but if you guys want to support me, there's YouTube memberships, there's uh, Steam Lab links, and of course there is Patreon. But there's new changes coming out from Apple in regards to Patreon, and these things are absolutely ridiculous because this is going to equate to Apple pretty much stealing from every creator that happens to have a sign up through the Apple Play Store. I received this email through Patreon and like most things, I overlook them and just move on with my life. But this one in particular is kind of important. They, it's talking about how Apple is now going to take 30% of your membership fees on Patreon. Patreon takes a very minimal amount when it comes to a membership fee for a, a, a YouTube channel. Uh, the one that we have set up here is not very big. I don't have a lot of people on my Patreon. This isn't going to really affect me because all of you are absolutely amazing people and you find a way to support me anyway. So no matter what we do, I thank you all for it. But this just now renews another idea of me possibly shutting down my Patreon just because it's not being used. It, it's just one of these outlooks that I wish I had more time to actually curate it. Um, I just don't. And I thank every last one of you that do support the channel in one way or another. So from Patreon, hey, Apple is requiring Patreon to use in-app purchases system and remove all other billing systems from Patreon iOS app by November 2024. This is coming up in a couple months. This means starting November, new memberships purchased on the iOS app are subject to Apple's 30% app store fee. That's insane. This is not a video game. This is not a developer. This is just a means to the end uh, for to support creators. And Apple is saying if you're going, if you own an Apple device at this point where you're using the App Store, it's not even using Apple Pay or any version of that. They're saying that any any creator you're going to support is going to be subject to a 30% fee. That's I don't know, they say in this email, it's not going to affect existing memberships, but this doesn't mean if there comes a time where your credit card is denied, or there comes a time where suddenly it's put to the wayside and you have to re-sign up for that membership, that, that the fee then comes off. This is going to hurt creators in the long run because Apple is also threatening Patreon to be removed from the Apple Play Store if this happens. This is absolutely abysmal. This hurts creators. This is Apple literally pickpocketing creators. Just because you're using Patreon through an Apple device, we get 30%. That's a monopoly and that this, this should not be allowed. By law, this should not be allowed. I get it when it comes to video games. I get it when you're creating an app that's something more, but this is just a way to support somebody and Apple saying, if you want to support your local creator, your favorite creator, they they might be streaming on YouTube, they might be creating art, they might be drawing you something, they might just make you a music song, and suddenly you want to pay them through Patreon for these things. This is the other thing. There's Patreon tiers where you can just pay for extra things now through Patreon, and Apple's going to be like, oh, sorry, it's subject to 30%. That's insane. That's, in, that's more money than the government will tax on someone for tipping you. Here in Alberta, you can, you have to claim 10% of your tips for your taxes. Uh, but generally, uh, when tips are cash and tips aren't, they don't even go through. And this is now a digital means of Apple saying even more. They're going to tax you more than the government just because they're a third party and they're a middleman. It's absolutely abysmal to see this type of thing. Yeah, they say in here, it's not going to affect existing memberships at all. Apple, Apple's App Store fee only applies to new membership purchases. What about a renewal? What about, like I said, if you're, if you happen to have it go to the wayside, something gets away from you, your credit card gets denied because you have a new expiry date on your credit card, now you're subject to that fee. This is this is going to hurt everybody in the long run. You will have full control of how Apple's fee is applied. You can either maintain your earnings by setting a higher price. So Patreon's 
solution to this is put that fee onto your subscribers. Put that fee onto the consumer that is there to support your content. The people are already willing enough to support your content. Just make them pay a little bit more. Instead of Patreon standing up for the uh, for the creators, standing up for the people that they should be at this point and be taking Apple to, uh, to court. That's what should be happening right now. This is why Epic Game Store went to court against Apple. That was a win-loss scenario. There was a couple wins, a couple losses in the in those scenarios over the monopoly of the App Store. This is absolutely downright despicable to see Apple come out and say, I don't care that the creator is on YouTube. I don't care what your creator, what you're trying to support here is actually funding an economy, is actually doing something. We get our cut. No. This is, this should not stand and somebody, somebody needs to step up here. I'm in Canada, which is, we even have worse policies over this to be able to fight something like this because this is a Americanized version of an app. This, because this is solely going to be in an American legal system. If this was to go down, I have no say in this matter. And it's absolutely abysmal to see this type of thing come down. Canadians, there's 40 million of us up here. In America, you have something like 400 million of you. Somebody needs to pick this story up and actually run this through the court system because this is not fair to create. This is not something, this isn't how you support a creator. If I want to support somebody through Patreon and I happen to have an Apple device, now I'm being charged extra. Patreon should be standing up right now and saying, saying to Apple, you can't do this. This is going to hurt the bottom line of creators. Creators that need the support of their fans. Taking 30% of that in this economy is huge. Patreon takes us, takes very minimal amount out of that in the first place. But now you're getting every single company wanting their cut. 30% to Apple, 30% to Patreon, 30% to YouTube. At this point, it's now just a 30% across the board just to upload content. It costs me personally about $400 a month to un upload content to this channel. Now, the that, that is broken down in, in a way that it honestly is something I would be paying in the first place. And it just happens to be that I run the YouTube channel. I upload things onto the YouTube channel just so I can continue running the things in my home. I would still be doing the internet. I would still be having the space that you see right now. So those costs are kind of, they're there, but that's what they break down to if I was to claim this as a business expense. That's where the costs really come down to. So to be able to get a little bit back and be able to put that right back into the channel is huge. And now saying that, oh, that $400 that you're spending on it, well, add in 30% on that. That's $120. So now it my my business costs in that sense wouldn't go from $400 a month to $520. That's what we mean and what it means for that 30%. That's the amount that that means. That $120 means a week of groceries. That's absolutely ridiculous at this point to sit there and see Apple try and put that on onto a creator. It's absolutely abysmal and I'm sorry, I don't agree with this. I do not agree with this. Don't support Apple in the circumstance. If you're going to support the creator, do it online, go online, go to the Patreon site, support them that way, support them through uh, PayPal, support them through Labs. I don't mind the YouTube or Twitch monetization system because you are using their platform, but the creator hasn't chosen to use an Apple platform in a sense. Patreon is the ones that um, they, they want to be on the App Store because if you're not on the App Store, then, you, then you're not growing as much because they have such a large monopoly in it. This is why I have a problem with it and why I think it's going to hurt Cree in the long run. It's not going to help anyone. That 30% across the board, that's for us to use the infrastructure that has been built there. The infrastructure has no making behind the App Store for Apple. That has nothing to do with the infrastructure people are using. This is literally Apple trying to reach into the back door of creators' pockets and stealing money that they need to survive. Anyway, I'm your Proctor Phoenix. I'm signing off here. Have yourselves a great day. Don't forget to like.